So I wanted to go over the construction of the film plane, the film holder for the, uh, for the tin type. So what you're looking here is, this is going to be for an 8x10 um, uh, image and uh, I'll have inserts that will uh, shrink it down to a smaller size. The construction, the primary construction, the, the primary body here is made out of uh, 3 quarter inch um, uh, plywood. Uh, cabinet grade plywood, so it gives you pretty. You know, it's pretty strong, pretty str pretty stable. Um, the other thing that I've done, if you can see here, is uh, uh, I've I've put a rabbit in here, and then um, I've got a strip of wood going down here to give it an additional. Oh, let's see where you see it. An additional strip of wood going going through here, give it some stability uh, and some strength. Um, on the inside. The film holder, essentially the, the film is going to rest up against these pieces right there and that's what is going to hold them in place and I have a backing board that will apply pressure to the, um, to the film. But uh, So I um, uh, put a channel in through here and uh, centered it so it's, all, it's even all the way around for the top, for the top and the bottom. And then I've put another piece of uh, plywood in here that's solid, and I've just notched it out the, for the uh, corners. Um, around the lip, I've attached, um, and this is I'm using the uh, 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 nine millimeter Baltic birch. Uh, I'm sorry, a Finnish uh, birch. And the reason I'm using this is it's probably some of the highest grade plywood you can get so it's a very very strong very consistent because the um, uh, measurements for here have to be consistent all the way through because I want to make sure that uh, uh, the film plane the dark slide and um, when I build the uh, um, uh, focus screen um, that will also be uh, uh, the same size uh, one of the cool, interesting things that I have figured out to do um, was essentially I put the, the panel on here and I've made room here for uh, the dark slide bar that's going to fit across here and so instead of cutting that to size and then cutting this to size I just uh, did the entire strip and then took a um, uh, router uh, straight cutting router and then just created this channel for the uh, rod and then I've come back and just filled it in with, uh, you know, just cut down some plywood to, to fit that in, sand, glued it and sanded it off. So every, everything here is glued together uh, so far. I've got uh, nothing, nothing nailed um, and um, I'm using a, a waterproof glue. The other thing that I figured out I had to do um, was this edge here because I have to uh, drill let's see right there drill some holes for the receiving springs to push the um, dark slide um, the the light trap I'm not sure what we're going to call this but you know essentially the light trap bar forward um, in order to accommodate the depth of the bra the the rod and the depth of the, the the associated springs that I'm going to put in here, I had to extend that out some. So I just uh, glued another panel, uh, another uh, strip of uh, plywood on there. So I think that should cover the construction.